Hi, it's Tyrone from tyronechum.com and welcome to the dedicated channel where I help you with outsourcing, automation and also designing the lifestyle that you desire. In today's video, I want to share with you a review that I was asked to do recently and this review is on a website called hivedesk.com. The reason why I said, all right, let's do this review for you is because Hivedesk does talk about productivity and also how to monitor your virtual staff which is really up my alley in terms of outsourcing and automation. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to share with you the pros and the cons of this particular tool or this software and I'm going to be pretty honest with this because I do want to give my honest opinion whether or not it's something that I'd recommend using or not. So let's just jump straight in. I want to show you Hivedesk. Simply go to hivedesk.com which is right here and you get to sign up for a free account and I want to show you just briefly because there is the option of a free account and then also there is an option of paying for more uh, usage. So now the free account allows you for a maximum of one project and maximum of number of workers on a project which is one and one and maximum of 15 hours loggable. In my opinion, this is probably not very much. I mean, you probably get away with a very, very small business if you're only working one person. But the thing is, is that you won't be able to save a lot of stuff on online. And the idea behind Hivedesk is supposed to capture screenshots of what your virtual assistant is supposed to be doing on a day-to-day -day hourly basis. So 15 hours, in my opinion, isn't very, very much in terms of capturing at most, what, two days or so. So that's something that I would probably say is lacking. And then from there, they have to they charge you $15 per month to use it all the way up to $59 per month depending on how many projects and also how many people you're working on the project. All right, so I thought I'd just make that clear that something like that is not going to be free if you do have numerous projects. So take that into consideration. Towards the end, I'm going to share with you some other sites that I've been comparing as well that I think are probably incomparable but also doesn't cost as much as well. So first thing is I'm not too happy about the cost. That's my honest opinion. All right, next thing I want to jump into is to show you how this thing works. So I've logged in and I've created a brand new project and as you can see right here, I've only been able to use one project because this is a free account and I've also set this up on my computer. So the first thing you want to do is create a new project. Once you create a new project, then add the extra person yourself and your virtual assistant or your programmer or whoever you are that's using it and then from there, you've got to get them to install the desktop client in order to be able to track what's going on. So I'm opening up the desktop client right now and what happens is, is that as soon as you open it, all you have to do is download and install this application. It's as simple as that. That's what I like, okay? So it's not hard at all. Once you've installed it, then the system automatically turns it on and tracks it. And I'll show you right up here, if I open this up, it should actually show me what's happening and tracking but obviously it's not doing that right now. But anyway, it's basically lodged it in memory to track what's going on and you can set it up to track whenever you, you need it to be. So it can be tracked every 10 minutes, every 15, every hour, etc. All right, so that's a good thing. It allows you to track and take screenshots. Now, I've been doing a bit of just a test, so I'll just jump into my project. By the way, it's not very intuitive. I didn't know about that. I kept clicking on the people to be able to firstly access it and then I found out, oh, you got to click on your project to access the details. So once you've gone there, I'm coming down here and it's shown me that it's actually been doing a few different screenshots. I've got one, two, three, four different screenshots here just showing exactly what's happening on my screen. And every 10 minutes or so, it will take a snapshot for me which is fantastic. I have to admit, I like this idea of being able to take snapshots and it's a great feature for Hivedesk. So that's a big, big plus in my opinion. And as you can see on September 13, 2010 at 3.34, it's taking a snapshot of where I'm I'm on Skype. I've opened Hivedesk and here's the little Hivedesk uh, screen that captures everything of what you're doing. Good thing. So that's a positive. Now, you might be wondering, okay, what else is happening here? That's it. <laughs> I have to be honest, I look at it and I go, okay, so all it does is just tracks what your project's happening and gives you screenshots but it doesn't provide anything else and that's what I'm a little bit disappointed with this piece of software is that it doesn't allow me to manage my virtual assistant or my staff on this and doesn't have ticketing, doesn't have milestones, doesn't have any of that. 
unless I, I, I'm wrong, you know, so far I can't intuitively find it. And that's something that's a bit of a downside for this Hive desk is that they, they want to charge just to capture screenshots of what's happening with your virtual assistant where I know that, for example, Odesk does it for free and you can capture unlimited. Rescue Time also does it for free and even provides you even more analytical tools. So, you know, in comparison, this tool is very, very basic and to charge for an amount for it, I'm not c convinced that it's worth that. That's my honest opinion. Uh, I know that it's still in development stage and I know that apparently there's still more happening. So, I'm just going to click to the front here just to show you. Apparently, you can create projects and add workers instantly. Yeah, I did that but you can't even add what they need to do, how to how to get them to follow a ticketing system and so forth. So, that, that's a big, big missing point. And I still have to set up my own project management system. What I would recommend and I, I think that would be a great thing for Hivedesk is that it should have an all-in-one project management system e.g. like Basecamp.hq or Basecamp HQ which allows you to manage, track, uh, delegate, set up tickets, milestones, etc. inside the system and furthermore take screenshots for you which would be great but this is in my opinion lacking. So that's something that I, I would have to say is requiring a bit of a revamp. Pay workers and uh, workers easily and accurately. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Just wondering whether or not it's going to be integrated quite easily into other payment methods such as Zoom, PayPal, Western Union, etc. So those are the factors that I think are missing just from this piece of software, this tool and it, it still needs quite a bit of work in my opinion to get it to where it needs to be. I'm going to just jump over in comparison. Odesk, for example, has some really neat tools and if you check out the Odesk team which is something really neat I think, all you need is a free account with Odesk and you can start using these tools that they provide like Team Room which shows you who's working time tracker, log your time in the in the work diary and also snap, screen snap, upload, share and see what they're doing with snapshots which essentially is what Hivedesk wants to do only. So, I think you need to consider those things and if I was to get it for free from Odesk which is a massive uh, job board and system there then I would not even consider probably using Hivedesk.com. That's my opinion and I'm being blatantly honest here. Anyway, that's my review on this. If you're to check it out, I'd recommend having a look at it but uh, there is still a lot of missing gaps and just to get a feel of how it is, is no problem but in terms of integrating into my system uh, with whatever else I'm doing like my project management system, using rescue time and also paying staff, I'm pretty sure I've got a, a pretty down pat system right now but if it can be all integrated into one, into one little project management system where I don't have to have multiple areas to use it then I might consider it but I haven't seen a tool out there that can do that all straight away. Alright, so that's my review on Hivedesk and I'd love to hear what your feedback and your comments are. You know, if you can tell me if I'm wrong that this is not a good system. You know, if you've tried it, great. Let me know what your thoughts are and I'd love to hear any of your comments below. Now, I'm also going to just add on in the next part here just to show you some of the comments that I received from my previous post as well and I wanted to share this with you because I really, really appreciate your comments and your feedback from every one of you and I just wanted to answer some of those cool comments that you've left here as well too so check it out right now. Hey Benjamin, thanks for that. Definitely outsourcing all the way. Felix, yes, article submission to eSign articles will really help the ranking. So I'm glad you found something out of that. And also Ian just wanted to say yes about the ClickBank product. We chose a ClickBank product based on a gravity greater than 7 and greater than 7 allows us to determine there's huge demand. Yes, Kevin. Well, you can definitely send it through Traffic Geyser and it will do it for you straight away. Only select the article option and the blogging option. Milt, thanks very much. I feel like a star. And Dwight Light, thanks very much for the bookmarking daemon recommendation. Appreciate all that. 